Hey folks, uh, it's been a long time since I last put up a video, uh, but it's not because I got a better job or won the lottery or stopped working on my game engine. I have been hard at work, uh, just doing a lot of stuff that's mostly behind the scenes, uh, and I actually have something to show for it now, so here we are. Um, I've been implementing a really neat algorithm uh, for lighting called Forward Clustered Rendering. Uh, I am going to link to a super helpful blog post in the description of the video. Um, that I used to guide most of my work implementing this algorithm. I have made a few adjustments and, and modified some things, made some tweaks and improvements here and there, uh, but the blog post was super helpful to get me started. Um, basically, it takes a problem of having an N by M uh, performance in terms of lights multiplied by number of models. So um, when you're doing a default sort of shading program, just a simple fragment shader, um, you're going to get uh, exponentially slower performance the more models or lights you put in your system. So what this clustered uh, forward uh, rendering algorithm does is it uh, makes that an N plus M problem. In other words, my performance is my number of lights plus my number of meshes as opposed to my number of lights times my number of meshes. Uh, I didn't say that super clearly the first time, but hopefully I got there for you guys. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm just going to demonstrate some of the performance that I have using this uh, rendering algorithm uh, in Engine. So we'll zoom out. We see this, uh, I think it's the Stanzo, Stanza model. Um, it's some cathedral somewhere, probably in Spain. I don't know geography super well. Um, but it's a pretty complicated model, and it's a really good stress test for an engine. And you'll see here that I have about 200 lights uh, that are lighting this scene, and I'm getting pretty decent frame rates, 30 frames per second. Um, and, you know, that's not anything mind-blowing uh, compared to, you know, we expect games to run at 60 FPS. But this is a pretty intense stress test of my engine, um, and it works pretty well to optimize when you have, like, a certain number of lights on screen. My frame rate will bump up now I'm around 40, um, and as I, you know, zoom out and have more models uh, that I'm displaying, uh, that performance is going to go down. But what is uh, pretty exciting is if I turn off this algorithm and sub in uh, my just default basic uh, lighting shader, which is doing uh, the same exact uh, coloring effects that my current shader is doing, except without the light uh, clustering algorithm. So I'm going to uh, revert back to that. You'll see the scene gets a little bit brighter because it's not actually culling uh, lights that are only visible in certain regions. But you'll see that my frame rate actually drops down to 16, 15 frames per second here. Uh, that's pretty, pretty devastating. So I've gotten uh, a 15 to 20. Uh, frames per second boost from implementing this algorithm, uh, which is really great uh, because I was worried that I would spend uh, a few weeks implementing it and then I wouldn't get any performance increase and all I would have done is learn something. Uh, how terrible that would have been. Um, but yeah, anyway, so that's what I've been working on. Um, it, it was a pretty fun algorithm to get implemented. I learned a lot about compute shaders. I'd never written one before. Um, and now I have this cool capability. So anyway, I'm going to hopefully start posting videos more often as I add, um, start doing some fun stuff like shadow mapping and, and different stuff that has, I guess, more uh, visual flair to it, uh, I'll say. Um, anyway, I think that's long enough for now. Thanks for listening, and hopefully I'll be posting soon. Till next time. Bye-bye.